Lakehead looking to get back in the win column against Ryerson. The Rams are currently ranked fifth in the country with a 10-1-1 record. First period, Wolves with the early power play, but it's Ryerson who would capitalize. Hayden McCool wheels it in from his own end, finds Greg DiTomaso. He beats the glove of Nick Renyard. 1-0 Rams. A few shifts later, Ryerson would strike again, this time courtesy of a Matt Mistley one-timer. Two zip Rams still in the first. Lakehead looking to battle back. Jordan King strips the D-man, gets it to Cooper Leach. Leach beats Taylor Dupuis, but can't beat the post. Still 2-0 Ryerson. LU would crack Dupuis late in the first. Sam shoot. Leaves it for Thomas Sustel and the big man from the Czech Republic absolutely rips it. Blocker side, cutting the Rams lead to one. Second period now and more from LU. This time shoot drives wide, then cuts back to the net. Pops the backhander home to finish it off. Just like that, we're all tied up at two. It wouldn't be tied for long though. Rams on the power play. Matt Santos shows the patience before hitting a wide open miss to Lee. His second of the night once again gives Ryerson the lead. Third period. Now 4-2 Rams and they're going to make it 5-2. Marcus Hines takes the shot. Rebound pops out to John Carpino. He goes five hole. The Wolves would add one late courtesy of Cooper Leach. But unfortunately it wasn't enough. They fall 5-3 to Ryerson. These two are right back at it tonight for game two of the weekend set at the Gardens. Shane Pasquino, TBT Sports.